G'day guys, Sonia here with Linked by Ink, your Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator. So I made a couple of cards recently and people were asking if they were hard to do and they're actually not. Now the fold for this is called a diamond easel fold and it folds flat so when you're mailing this it's, it's flat, you can stick it in a nice envelope but then when they get it, it pops up like this and it's supported like that. And you've got your little sentiment here and then when you open it up you've got a place to write everything and then I went ahead and added a little something on the back as well just in case you want to put something here I was like why not have two places to write so that's how I did with that so I did not create the diamond easel card the actual fold of this card I just created this design and then I loved it so much and had so much fun with it that I went ahead and made another one. And this one I tried to just be a little bit more simpler, a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> How did I do? So again, it opens up and you've got a place to write. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and, you know, decorate all the way to the top. It's, it's only going to be seen when it's open, but you can do that. And again, I did just put something, nothing fancy on the back. I probably should have put a flower or two, but I just kind of kept it plain. So this is the diamond easel fold, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it, just the base here. It's very simple, very quick. So you're going to start, you need two pieces of cardstock. If you don't have a 12 by 12, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock. And it's going to be a six by six and a six by six and a half. Now, if you have the full 12 inches, then you just need a, a 12 by six, okay? And then score that in the middle and fold. But since the basic cardstock for Stampin' Up! is only eight and a half by 11, this is how we're going to do it. So we've got this extra half an inch. And what we're going to do is go ahead and score at a half an inch along here. Oops, without moving it. So this is the Stampin' Up! Simply Scored scoring board and it's very easy to use. And then you'll have a little flap and you will put your glue. I like to use liquid Tombow just because you have that little wiggle room of moving it around. You could also use tear tape here if you wanted to. But I like to be able to wiggle things around and make them line up just perfectly. So you'll get your other 6x6 six six and you just pop it there and put it down. It doesn't matter which way you do this. I have been finding I've been folding this part on the inside and having that on the inside. But it doesn't matter if you put it on the inside or outside because you're going to cover it all up. Okay, that will just take just a minute to glue down. And you're also going to need a four and a quarter by a four and a quarter piece. This will make up your base, okay? Then, if you don't have a score tool and you have the Stampin' Up! Um, uh, cutting tool, you can use your scoring tool here and use that. Okay, so if you don't have this scoring tool, you can get a ruler and pencil and just do marks um, like this. Okay, since we have this, we're just going to go ahead and use it. And what we're going to want to do is put it in the landscape position. And then on the 3 inch and the 9 inch, you're just going to put a tiny little score. Just, just like indenting the paper there. So you're going to do 3 inches at the end three inches and nine inches again and then three inches at this end okay next we're gonna put that aside we're gonna get our cutting paper trimmer and we are going to line up we made that little score mark if you line it up right here there's a little groove so line up that score mark with the score mark on the side here, right there. 
and just center it as best you can it does not have to be absolutely perfect but you want it as close as possible to that and then you're gonna cut that off okay and I'm gonna speed this part up we're gonna go ahead and do that to both ends So you're getting your diamond shape. Okay, so you'll have all those corners cut off. Then, on one of these sides, I'm going to use this side here. We're going to score it right across here. So you just line up those two ends. Make sure you're not using your cutting tool and just score that right there and the reason I score that is because that is the part that's going to come down here okay next we get our four and a quarter by four and a quarter we're almost finished and we put glue all over here and then we're going to line this up make sure it's all nice and lined up and pretty that's why I use that liquid glue because it gives me a little bit if I just need to move it just to touch and once that dries there you have your base which if I bring in this other card to show you it's this exact same base and it looks very very different than the finished cards obviously these cards are quite thick. I've used a lot of pop dots on here, dimensionals, whatever you want to call them, to give it a lot more oomph. But um, this is my daughter's favorite. She said this is her favorite card of all time. Her birthday is in July, so I've already got her birthday card made. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so once that dries, you can just start designing it and layering it up. Um, the way I actually start to figure out the design is I start with the paper. So the paper that is speaking to me for this are these two new um, papers. And these will be in the new annual catalog. They are from the um, World of Good Suite. So I will start and I know that I'm going to put um, probably my busier paper maybe may go on this front here and this will be the little accent paper in the corner here and yeah so uh, what I'm talking about by that is we have the the paper here the matches on the front and then we have the little accent from here here and here so then I go ahead and just build from there um, I'm thinking of maybe some flowers and stuff in this one and then I will do another card with this base so right now it's just three pieces of paper but in just you saw that was very very quick so it will be a card base in no time at all and then I think I'm gonna go with these and this again is from the world of good sweet and this will be how I will build. So that's just how I got my inspiration for doing these cards. I picked the papers that I thought looked good together at first and then I built the card from there. So um, let me know if you've tried this, um, this fold before and if you have, drop me a picture below. I would love to see it in the comments. And um, yeah, that's it for today. So I probably will make a tutorial in the future giving all the measurements for all the layers and everything okay so if you like this video please go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber we would love to have you go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you will know when i post and upload new videos click on that notification button okay i'll talk to you guys later bye